Always, always, it always happens. Okay, so Dill always beats Mike Kirby. So Mike, but this is the thing, Mike has not really gone Meta Knight against Dill in tournaments. Did he just so, really start the game off with a dimensional cape? Oh yeah, he. this man has no fear. I need to have a talk with this man. Like, He's going to approach. I'm not going to tell him what to do, I just want to know why. Because <laughs> it worked. That's why, it worked. It worked this time. <laughs> but on to the match. All right, we got a good job with the neutral right now. They're both just sizing each other up. And for those just tuning in, this is best two of three. It is not best three of five. But still, Mike has to win two sets. He has to reset the bracket against Dill to take home the tournament. Dill showing that he's the top dog sheik to this tournament compared to the kill stage who won last week. I believe Dill got third at that tournament. Nice down smash. Or fourth. Ooh. All right, I, I, I like running. the walk away dash attack. Getting hit with that second thing of the up B, you gotta watch out for it. Needle's doing a lot of work right now in this match. Yeah, and Dill's gonna play super precise, chill back, charges needles, throw needles whenever Mike Kirby tries to attempt anything, anything that resembles an approach, he's gonna throw those needles. A lot of this is just gonna be uh, Dill just throwing out some fares, throwing out needles, just waiting for Mike Kirby to get into range before he goes ham. All right. good, good read with that tornado. It did a lot of damage, it brought yeah. the, uh, the percentage even. Yeah. I mean, it cover, when you think about it, it covers a lot of options off of the ledge. It covers jump off, it covers get up. Like, it just, oof. Here's one of the tricky things is edge guarding Sheik. It's like oh, near impossible if the Sheik's like, good enough. Yeah, I would like to see him not just there at the edge and shield, though. Like, it's one of those things, it's like, what are you going to do? Go off stage and get bodied? Well, so, the, the thing is, you want to like be around when you, you want to instill fear. Exactly, and there's a point where they have to use bouncing fish, and you want you want to be in the area where once they do it, you can hit them for to it to bait out a reaction of some yeah. kind. Menai has five jumps, so he could be like not where he can get hit, but where he can like you know punish the bouncing fish yeah. a little bit. But another reason for uh, Mike to actually go for something like that is it's just staying on the stage. <laughs> is it just that was the longest way for a grab. He was just making sure that, like, wait, did you actually fall here? Are you sure? Ooh. Nice follow-up. Uh, down throw up air. Whoa, Dill trying to, like, do something sneaky. Actually, he probably just baited out the up B recovery. He's like, wait, the Sheik is approaching me down here. I could die at any second. I should go back up. Ooh. Yo, good tech from Dill. Mike! <laughs> this <laughs> man screams. <laughs> He tries to do two F smashes, almost breaking Dill's shield. Aww. That's one of the things, is if you don't get that read with the tornado, it leaves you wide open for whatever they want to do to you. Yeah, he did it really early, so Dill was able to respond. Whoa, oh, that was... That was and that might actually kill him. That almost. was uncharacteristic now of Dill to recover like that. It threw my, my Kirby off guard. Ooh, that was close, and that dare will seal the deal. Mike baited out that up smash. He was like, hey, look, I'm in tipper range. You can finish me, and then he just, like, psych, jumped out of the way. Solidified his kill. Okay, that bouncy fish got the hell out of there. Because that was about to be an elevator combo. Now, needles. One, two, buckle my shoe. <laughs> Alright. Alright, these dudes. They're playing a neutral. That's what's going on. Good follow up. Up air after F tilt. You know, bread and butter. Interesting. Ni nice cover from Dill. You know, making throwing the needles down so Mike had to use his double jump to get up there. So Dill was just like, hey, I got you in my fair now. One of those things called a trap. Mike Kirby doing a lot of rolling. Midnight has one of the better rolls in the game, though. Yeah, he does. He has a very quick dodge roll, almost you know as good as uh, Little Max. And that up air is gonna finish it off. Now, one thing I don't really see from Dill pre-patch Sheik is F smash or like smash attacks in general. He's been going for them a lot more lately because he has to because of Sheik's nerfs. Her kill power is a little bit. Less. She still has an insane neutral, and she still can rack up damage like that. But now she kind of struggles in killing, so Dill has to work around and try to find another solution to get those kills. And when you're trying to fight a, a character like Meta Knight, who can just dash attack you once and kill you yeah. at the right percent, like, you have to be extra patient. But it looks like Mike Kirby is going to go with the, uh, the old true old-fashioned The Omega, this is his last game. He's got to turn on O2 Battle. Sorry, that's O Squared Battle. But that is like... One of my favorite songs from Kirby 64 in the Crystal Shards. This song is just so dope. It's when you're fighting like a giant eyeball with a halo and the eyeball's bleeding and it's just all... That does not sound like a Kirby game. It's a Kirby game, bleeding dude. Bleeding eyeballs? Kirby game is all cute and fun and games until you get to the final boss and it's like the most messed up creature you'll see. <laughs> okay, we got combos. Right. Yo, Mike is feeling Ooh, the song grabs. or something. 
He's like, you know what? I take off the mask. I'm actually Kirby with the sword. And now we're going to town. Uh, that roll was obvious. But that was a, That's that was exactly a great early stock wanted. by um, by Mike Kirby. Yeah. He's got a good lead. He's still playing quite aggressive against him. He doesn't want Dill to get pre start preparing anything. Keeping up this uh, pressure that he has against him. But now Dill's turn to keep him off stage. This is one of the things that Mike's going to struggle with. Is just trying Ooh. to get that kill. That would have killed. He's out of jumps, so Mike's got it. He misses the tech. Oh, he that did save a couple close. more jumps. That was smart of Mike to hang on to them. I thought he was out. Yo, the jabs though? Tries to get the bear, hoping that Dill would hang on the ledge long enough. And here's one of the things. Dill is probably one of the best Sheiks to fight against Kirby ever. Like, he Wow, I can't believe up. he came back from that. Holy crap. Yeah, he got that deck, dude. It's still very close. Oh, wow. Nice Good tech, tech from Mike, because Dill was going to follow it up with oh, a bouncing fish. very nice. No tech from Dill, but he's still going to recover because of bouncing fish. Oh, Sheik. Die already. <laughs> no, it's one of those things. You just got to respect that. Sheik will come back to the stage. He's got Mike off stage. Doesn't go. Doesn't punish the the the, the footstool oh. though. The footstool though. The footstool finishes him no. off. No, no, yeah. Mike Kirby. Hey, come on, no bias, no bias. No, that was that was impressive no, from Dill. No, no, Dill purposely see, yeah. went down there, got that footstool, and that was super impressive because I would not think of that. He realized that yeah. Mike was out of jumps. It's like you know what? Instead of going for anything else, I'm just gonna jump on your head. Yeah, that whole stock was Dill doing a great job just pressuring mm -hmm. Mike off stage. Ooh. Ooh, Nair. Digging the Nair. Yo, the, the power shield grab. All right, will that kill? All right, oh, so we yes, still got will, ourselves dude. a match. He doesn't need no platforms above him. He doesn't care. We got up tilt, up tilt, up tilt. Get some combos going, racking up some damage. <laughs> there you go, Mike. Wow, wow. this man's going. He's That's going to town. That was 60 60%. damage. From zero to 60, just like that. Faster than a GX racer car. It's... It's the <laughs> final lap. Uh, Ooh, that's okay. Yo, and just like Devin says, Mike is starting to lose that boost power, though. <gasps> Reads of the dodge one. So that's one of the things uh -oh. when Mike Kirby oh. gets the trip, he's got to read which way you're going to go or else he can't follow it up accordingly. He does this time and gets a grab out of it. Okay, let's see what he can do. Oh, Ooh, he's, he's hoping Dill's going to land into that up smash. Hey, Mike can just play nice and easy. He realizes he's fighting a Sheik with Rage, which can be scary. Anyone with Rage can be scary. But he has a very impressive uh, lead. He just needs to hold on to it. That was it. close. That could kill Not get by those fairs. Oh, and whoa. Dill reading the up B, but Mike Kirby with the impressive DI surviving. Gets oh, the tech. Nice tech. back on stage because of the tech. Knew it was coming, so he pushes our ahead of time. Jumps away from the bouncing fish. Good job. Jump it down there. Hey, Dill's got Mike off stage. Tries to get with the up beat. Good punish oh, from Mike. And the throw. up throw is going to do it. He has enough rage. He's at high enough percent. And that's going to close out the stock onto game three. That was something else. Woo. Yo, you know Mike's breathing a little bit. His heart's pumping. A yeah, little fast. He had to do a whole lot of teching. Like He's that got, was, he had so he much teching. The thing is about when you're teching stuff like that, it's all about prediction at that point. Because it's like, like the second you get hit, you can't just be like, oh, I got the tech. It's like they know they're going to get hit and they go for the R, you know? Yeah. So what Devin was telling me is what happened in the point when Mike went super high up. He uh, teched the wall. Mash jumped to get out of there, but then he footstooled cheeks, so he got like a huge boost in the oh, air. Yeah, so that's why he got back that, to yeah. the stage so easily. Devin with the knowledge. Devin with the Kirby. Devin with the hoo ha. Let's go. Devin without a mic, not being able to tell. If us he anything. had a mic, he would drop it right now. Yo, can we talk about this beautiful camera of the players real quick? And how it doesn't catch anybody. <laughs> it's so beautiful. Like I, I, it captures Dill. It captures Dill's good side. Every every once in a while, we get, uh, you know. No, oh, real Dill's talk. Nose. We need we need a new camera angle. Like this is this is awful. This is like, awful. Like shout out, <laughs> shout out, shout out to Devin's cruddy camera. Skills. Hey, no, hey, no dev shaming, okay? <laughs> Yo, real talk though. If Dill wins this game, we're out of here before ten. Oh my goodness. But I want. But, dude, it's ten minutes, dude. Devin can be the savior. To, not Devin. Di Dill can be the savior to send us home, or Mike Kirby can do the upset and bring us the true finals. <laughs> yeah, so Mike Kirby was deciding who to go there because he knew that Dill had the ability to counterpick Mike depending on who he went. 
So he decided to go Kirby. Dill's thinking about going Sheik or Luigi since he knows that Mike oh. hates the Luigi matchup. Oh. And Dill knows Luigi. And this is just Mike's and Devin's life. Because in House 2000, you got John Numbers, who plays uh, Wii Fit. And then you got Dill, who plays Sheik. But they both play Luigi if they have to. And he's opting to go for Luigi. Oh, boy. We're going to have ourselves a... And that's where winning that first game really comes in the play. Yeah. Yo, shout-outs to the crisp can opening from the Kill Sage. Heard that on the mic. Yeah, good job, man. Yo, good, Very distracting. good can open, son. <laughs> no, it was crisp. It, it was sounded crisp. crisp, dude. That was a commercial. Yo, that was a Sprite brought to you by Sprite. Yo, match. <laughs> We're now... No, it's okay. My no, Kirby's just it. hitting him a bunch. <laughs> so we got fireballs. Dill's going to play kind of similar to uh, numbers. He's just going to chill back, throw fireballs, make Mike Kirby do all the work with approaching. He's going to have to. Now he's got a little bit of a lead. Ooh, Ooh that misses duck. the grab. Wow. That, oh, was, that, nice that was a risky grab. Good mashup for Mike, not only taking one pummel. It's one of the things, like, when you get a grab against a player, sometimes you just got to throw them when they're at that low percent because if their mashing is on top notch, like they're going to get out. Especially if they start preempting. Okay, so Mike's up in the air. He got the one, two, three jab from Dill. Let's even get something from this. He's got Mike off stage. I'm worried about up smash right now. Like he's looking. He like he's wants it, forward. dude. Look at him. You know he's look. Look at him walk. The man wants it up. Ooh, Ooh that was close. There's the up, up smash, smash we, right all, there. we all saw coming. I mean, he's in, like Luigi at, at this point in the game doesn't have a choice. But that F smash almost caught him. Really this weird. entire game, Devin is just kind of shaking his head. It's like this is the game I chose to play. Yeah, he, he does not <laughs> like Devin. Both Devin and Mike both they just don't like the Kirby versus Luigi matchup. Oh, that's right. Devin plays Kirby. I forgot yeah. about that. And uh, once again, for those tuning in, this is best two of three. This is not best three of five grand finals. So if Dill wins this, that's the tournament. Nice Trump. He used the tornado to try to escape Mike, the situation. Mike, he's out of double jumps. He's good. That, that was, was so sick. smart. That was so smart of Dill to do that. The side B onto the platform to get his jump back. Yo, that's mm -hmm. impressive. Mm -hmm. That's very. What is he doing? What you doing? That, oh, that was almost it. gross. And that should be it. Let's see if Mike. Oh, oh. That almost was a sure you can. That's wow. Yo, Are we done? We done? Th yeah, we done. Okay. Dill being disrespectful. Why? And Dill wins the tournament. Yay! <laughs> <laughs> Devin shouting out a couple curse words at Dill for going Luigi against Mike. Uh, ends up with a two stock to close out the tournament. That was Zeno 6, guys. Uh,